so I can show you as you move up the neck. I'll give you the forms so we can demonstrate that. Or, and everybody else on the ORF. So let's fill ORF Island here. Good, and a couple people on recorders. So we'll model. Good, so the drums keep going. Let's keep that drum, because we really want to have, yeah. We just don't need to be heavy on drums, great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. everyone is full of music. I believe we need to make music accessible for not only kids and fun, but for us. And so what I'm sharing here this afternoon is one of the super fun, I keep, I keep proposing it for conferences and then they're like modes, nah, because they get the same idea. So I was so happy to get to do it here. I also got to do it at AOSA for the first time. But believe me, I've been throwing it out there and proposing it for about 10 years. Because I do it in the class and I just think it's so brilliantly fun, you know. And, but some I have to write it up better, so maybe you all should write it if you have fun. You can think, this is really a great thing. Anyway, um, again, I love this idea that we speak with our sound and that modes give us this opportunity to be really expressive. But the support system that supports the modes, um, I just use one and five. And so you can see here, I put here, I don't remember I remember very little of what I learned in grade school. But for some weird reason, I remember this. I don't particularly like many Arctic lands. I do not know why I remember that, but mom, I think somewhere along the line taught me that. And it's like, who knows why? So I figured if I can remember that, I should probably do a mode workshop. So um, Ionian. Okay, hello. So it's I is Ionian, D is Dorian, oh, who knows? Um, hi, who knows? Phrygian, uh, particularly lands, Lydian, um, or oh, like I don't particularly like Lydian, many, Mixolydian, A, Arctic, Aeolian, and the Locrian, Locrian land. And so what we can do is we're going to take a little journey, all right? And let's see, I will. Um, is there another one open here? Is there a lunch? Is there one? Oh, good, okay, good. Um, and let me get some mallets. Are there, are there mallets on that? Oh, super. And I say, never step over the orphan instruments. <laughs> Just broke that rule. Okay, good. So I love that we're going to go on a little adventure here. And we'll bring the recorders and the other instruments. I also use boom whackers and everything because you may not be privy to this kind of orf island. It's just like something. So we're going to take a journey, and we're going to notice how the character of the journey changes as we go along. And so we're going to have our, our rhythm keepers. Would you give us a groove, something relaxed, a Saturday afternoon in medieval times? Good. You can bring that second drum in for interest. Nice. You might even move that other big one in so we really have a bass line. So you will have heaps of fun, and we will enjoy it. These are the um, togas, floor toms, and they're so much fun. They're really great. This is good. Good. And as we begin our journey, we start with home as C. Would you all find C, hover over it? So we're going to start just tapping C and just walk on it. Now, if you go from C, Do you find the G close to that? Long 
COVID. I'm not sure it'll work with our numbers, but let's see. So come and get a cigar. You can pass the bag around. We'll see if that works. Good. I wonder if we move those base bars. Oh, I know. If you move base bars back and stay in the game and we circle around this edge, I think that's going to buy us a little more space. Can you just slide them back? Yeah. That would be great. So you're playing kind of, yes. And then our circle can make the corner there. That might work. Hold your scarf in your right hand, right hand. Let's see if that works. Okay, let's see. Then grab the end of your left. Person on the left. Ah, that looks beautiful. Okay, did it work? And you can actually take that, strike that last instrument and make that corner a little bring it in a little bit, like turn those instruments in towards each other, if you just angle them in, yeah, that makes our island, oh, I think that's going to work, <gasps> great, is everybody ready, so it moves like this, it goes right in front, right together, and left in front, left together, grapevine, right in front,
It's always fun to practice. Can I always be in music? It's an opera. Here we go. You ready? One, two, here we go. this form 
where you actually, I love the idea, the dancers tell the musicians what to do. And it helps to organize the length of a solo. But it's so clear. Um, you could also have them solo over a section, but it's much shorter and a little harder. Next one is a really good starting point, and they can spread into it and tell their story through there. So now what I'd like to do is, uh, let me show you the ukulele part, just so you know, so I don't forget. So recorders, you know, can do all the same, same notes. And on ukulele, there is, is my white one, did I open it? Oh yeah, there it is. Thank you. Wow. What would I do without all these sets of eyes? Helping me out. So what I like to do is this. I use these guys. I thought we were, we were going to be outside, so I was going to do this. And then when we go to D, that way boom whackers or everybody knows where we are. And then so forth. Okay? On ukulele, I discovered when I was at AOSA, I was messing around and I thought, wow, they could make, you can make the ostinato on your strings, your uh, third and fourth, or the two upper ones, highest. And then C and G, then D and A. And it's just right next door. So all they have to do is just play those two strings. And these are all, then we go two more frets up, B and E. So there it kind of turns into a little orc instrument, same thing next to each other, F and C. Two more, skip a fret, go to G and D. The only one that changes is Loquian, of course. And then we go to Aeolian, go two more. And then when we get to Locrian, and I'll draw this out and put it in the notes, kind of an afterthought, because it's really cool. We go here, and you have to do this. And then you're back to. So isn't that cool? So you can kind of go. And you can do the same thing. I thought, that's so cool. So anyway, that is the nifty little um, ukulele version of this. So what I want to do is I want to show you what I do with the kids. The kids make up the D part. So they work together. Tell me, how many beats did we have in each section? One, two, three, four. Can you repeat it? Five, six, seven, what? Eight. So now you break into, I want you just to stay in kind of your groups. Like if you could go, if you're standing, I'm going to switch you to the instruments. So you get that experience. So, but I want you to be in groups just to help kind of create something. So would you now um, find a group of about six people? I'm not going to worry about what, what it is, and then we'll just bring groups. Make find a group of about six people. You are going to have about, not long, <laughs> about four or five minutes to create a section, a movement section. My suggestion is make it do something like, spin two, three, four, and then unwind two, three, four. So it's really just a simple movement done twice. Make sense? Should not take you long to do this. Find a group of six people and go make something up and I'll see you in about five minutes. Go for it, have fun. And use those scars, because that's super fun. Oh, it just keeps turning. I don't even think it matters. It's all good. I have it there and I'll show it at the end. And it's so much fun. And now it's like a conversation. It's a wonderful play.
and I'll think about that transition when it comes. Okay, you ready? So here we go. Um, oh, good drummers. What you want to do? You can set the beat. Okay, good, yeah. Oh, I like it, good. Good. Okay, drums, give us, okay, so we have a count that like this. Thank you. 
we get to show? Do we have time? Yes. Okay, quick. We'll just do a quick. Let's do one. You won't all get to solo, but y'all got to solo. Let's just do. Uh, okay, which mode shall we hang out in? We're just going to do a couple, uh, a couple rounds of the dance so we can see everybody's part. What's your choice? Aeolian. Oh, right. Aeolian. It is. So find your Aeolian blue drummers. You want to give us uh, something new? Give me whatever you want. Uh, what do you want? Uh, ask the group. Ask the dancers. She's asking. Oh, okay. You might be sorry. All right. Are y'all ready? So actually, groups, we start in the dance. The big circle. So we... Talk through it first. And right in front, right together, left in front, left together, right in front, right behind, right in front, right together, in two, three, Yay! back, two, three, next one, Aeolian. So who wants to solo? We'll have probably make two or three solos. Raise your mallets if you want to solo. Good. You kick it off and then choose the next one. All right, when we're going to have a little transition thing. Here we go. So we'll do one, eight beats to get your groups organized for transition, two times through your cycle, back, and one more solo, and we'll wrap this puppy up. Ready? One. Okay, drummers. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. y'all right, everybody? website 
you get 20% off. And the toka drums, oh, let me just talk about those. Those of you I know I've been mentioning, they did support us for this session and this conference, and their whole new line is amazing. And um, this is the Flora Toms that supported us. Bravo, yay to them, drummers. <laughs> and our nesty purple ones, hopefully you saw those. They're beautiful drums, so please uh, check them out. There's 10% coupon on your notes for any token purchase. But do it all at once, because you only get it on one purchase. So it's on all the instruments, anything you're interested in. Um, check out the notes, email me, and thank you so much. Yes, you may. Isn't Mary inspirational? Oh. That's one thing we decided we'd like to host Mary this summer at U of SC for our graduate credit. So I'm going to make a list. If you'll put your email, your name, and your email on here, I'll make sure you get the information. Okay? Same as yesterday. It's the same one as yesterday. If you already signed up, we're looking at the third or fourth week of July. It'd be like one week on campus, and then some stuff you would do distance-wise. Um, yeah, just because I think we all just can handle one week right now. <laughs> right? I mean, okay. So, yeah. I'm going to put it over here on the chair. Hey, thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. That was so much fun.